Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. Today I am doing my famous drizzle, swipe, rack, and spin on a 12 by 12 canvas. It's already spinning on its own. I don't know what's going on with it. It wants to spin, I guess, without any color on it. So let it go. But anyways, I hope everybody's having a great day. And my colors that I'm using today is Iridescent Red Blue by PBO, Sapphire on Ice Pigment, Mango Freeze Pigment, French Lilac Pigment, Vavoom Red Pigment, Iridescent Green Yellow by PBO, Metallic Purple by Artist Loft, Iridescent Green Blue by PBO, Orange Red and Pearl Papaya by uh, Arteza, and Cobalt, or no, Cranberry Pigment. These are all color art pigments that I'm using. I have a coupon in my link. For that, I have a coupon for my Arteza link, and I have a coupon for KS Resin. And before I forget, uh, my Etsy shop is now open. You can go and shop in my Etsy shop. It is Kathleen Limited, K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N-L-T-D, one word. So there are a few things in there. If you'd like to go shopping, feel free and um, if you don't want to go shopping, just email me and uh, I can give you a price on whatever you see. And I have links to all that, uh, all those, um, is to the Etsy shop and to the discounts that Kathy just mentioned in the description box. Okay, so I already flooded my canvas with my color place from Walmart. It's just a plain white interior base satin. And we're gonna get started here. We're gonna do our little drizzle first. And if you don't want to watch me drizzle with all my beautiful colors, you can just fast forward it. Don't fast forward it. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. Oh, well, my cell activator is what, Phil? Black. Now, the, the only reason I say don't fast forward in most cases, unless you've watched this a bunch of times, is there, even though Kathy is just doing a drizzle, um, there is a method to her madness because you 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 don't want to drizzle too much of any one color or uh, too much in any one spot. So it does make a difference how you drizzle it on there. Um, so it is it is important at least the first couple of times uh, to watch the technique of the drizzle. Yeah, it's it's something. Let me tell you. But I understand. You know, I I watch videos and I fast forward through parts too. But uh, sometimes you, you miss uh, something vital um, that you need to know when you do that. So that's my public service announcement for this day. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this mango freeze on now. You have to keep everybody informed, Phil. That's part of your job, being the videographer. That and misinformation, unsolicited advice, and stupid comments. That's my job. Oh my, you've really got a mouthful going now. Holy cow. I didn't realize that you had that much. <laughs> I've got a lot of jobs, man. And sunbathing and swimming in the pool. Those are your jobs. And doing laundry is another one of your jobs. Vacuuming. Vacuuming is another one of your jobs. Turning the trees. You're just Mowing a, the lawn. You're just a jack of all trades. I'm let me tell I you. Have, I'm lucky I have time to even do this videoing. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the best job that you like out of all of them. That's true. I mean, oh, and you got you didn't say you have to take care of the pool. Yes, I do that too. I mean, my <laughs> my goodness, I got and you suck stuff up going. all the leaves around the pool. So. Well, like I said, you're just a jack of all trades and master of none. This is Vavoom Red. Got to add a little bit of this in. This is really pretty. Yeah, I love that Vavoom Red, Ooh, yes. I just went off the canvas. Man, I'm really well, drizzling. That drizzle isn't going to do much for you then. Jeez. Holy mackerel, Andy. I got to pop a couple of these bubbles as soon as I see them because otherwise that is not going to be good. Okay, I think I got them. 
Cool. What I end up with? Red. We're on to our iridescent green yellow. This is a, a really pretty color. Yes, it is. And it's really, you know, starting to look like the mishmash. Now, these are all the color art pigments. Uh, pigments. Okay. And paints. These are paints. This is a paint. Oh, you have, okay. Yeah, you do have a couple of paints uh, <laughs> mixed in there, too. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Phil. Get with the program. We read them off. Jeez. Well, you know, that's, that was just some more of my misinformation. Yeah. I, I have to have a little bit of that in every video. Yes, you do. And you do that for sure. Okay, this one is the metallic purple. I have almost enough purple in there already. I'll just yeah, put a little know. bit more of this to give it a little metallic color. Okay, this is our iridescent green blue. This is another pretty color. So I hope everybody's having a great day and Memorial Day weekend. There was a bunch of traffic out today. It started right yesterday, it was on TV. It's like, oh boy, I'm glad I'm not going anywhere. Okay, this is our orange coming up. The red orange and the pearl papaya, which is really, um, it's really pretty together. So I hope, you know, if you're watching this, um, try this. And when you try it, send me a picture. I'd love to see what, what you get. Yeah, 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 please do. Because um, some of our subscribers have started trying this new drizzle technique. And they have sent us pictures. And, and It's really fun you, to watch yeah, and see the pictures. Some of you are already doing fantastic work with this technique. And we love seeing it. Yeah, I, I really love to see everybody's, um, the drags and, you know, the swipes and the wrecking and I, I love it. So don't think that you're bothering me because you're not. Okay, okay no, this now is we're the, on to the swipe. This is how the dri drizzle should look. <laughs> you don't want any, uh, a lot of any one color in, in a spot. And uh, although it's covered quite a bit, you can see the canvas or the white paint through a lot of areas. And that's exactly what Kathy wants at this stage. Okay, now she has her cell activator in black. <laughs> <laughs> and her playing cards. I'll tell you, I have a heck of a time playing solitaire with these cards because she cuts them in half and I can't tell... Uh, what goes on where? <laughs> There's your solitaire card. I know. <laughs> oh, I'll just put that with the just, seven. Then. Just count the diamonds. <laughs> that's all you have to do. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. I can't, I can't win a solitaire with all the, with all the uh, diamonds and spades and everything on there. I just um, got my uh, 12 decks of cards. You did. From Amazon yesterday. So you're set for a while. I am very set for a while. And yes, I am. Just to kind of go over the swiping technique that Kathy uses, she likes to do the what I call the jiggle, and she's just taking the cell activator on the card and lightly swiping it over the drizzled um, paint and pigments. You don't want a lot of pressure. You just want to swipe over the paint and pigments to bring out all the colorations in the cells. You got it, Phil. Now you're talking. Well, I always do a lot of talking, but it usually doesn't make too much sense. I'm glad so. you said it, not me. <laughs> that way I stay out of trouble. And I can get in enough trouble without yes, you can. making a lot of comments. I'll just let you make the comments. 
Look at look at those cells. They're starting to come up. They're starting. Now, some people have asked me, uh, can you do this as a pour? Can you just dump the paint on by pouring it? You can do whatever you want. If you think well, that's going to work for you, that's fine. That's not my way of doing well, it. Well, you tried that um, one time, and although you do get a, a nice result, it's not as, as uh, I think, as nice as having the drizzle. It is Because sometimes the pores puts too much of one color in one spot, and you're not getting the effect that I think uh, you're looking for with this kind of a pour, but hey. You yeah. know, it's, it's your right. creation, that's so a, if that's what you want to do, you have to make it your own. That's the fun of pour painting. It you is. You can do it any old way you want. If you don't like it, you just scrape it off. Yes, yeah, just paint. Yes. So it, it really doesn't matter. It's just paint, everybody. Don't get all uptight about it. If it doesn't turn out, scrape it and redo it. Ooh, that was a big one. And today is my dog's birthday. Bougie is seven years old today. So tonight, she's gonna have an apple with some whipped cream. <laughs> my little girl. And she's just gonna love that. Cause she loves whipped cream, let me tell you. Of course I do too. Yeah, I think you're having it for yourself, actually. Well, I am going to have some. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I am definitely having some whipped cream with my little baby. i got to sing happy birthday. And you're going to have some too, Phil. You for know. her, I'll do anything. I know you will, because she loves you. She loves you. She loves her daddy. She has to see wherever you're going. <laughs> I know all I get, the I, time. I get up to go out to the garage, she follows me. I get up to go out the back door, she follows me. <laughs> oh, brother. You can't get away from her. Because she thinks she's going to miss something. She thinks she's not going to go in the car with us. It's like, booze, you're going in the car. Don't worry. Okay, I got one more corner to do. And then we're going to move on to bigger and better things. But first, I have to do this. This is bothering me. Did not like that there, Phil. Well, that's a good reason to get rid of it then. Yeah, I did not like that thing. Oh boy, this is going to be pretty. Yeah, I can see it already. Just tons and tons of oh, colors. I can tell. Yes, we did. Ah, everything's sticking together over here. We just got to get one little place. It's right in the middle here. So I don't want that to, uh, in mm -hmm. this, I don't want that to spread out too much. What, the orange? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's What Kathy's gonna... talking about is this, see that orange part there? Uh, you'll be surprised if you leave something even that small um, when you spin, it's going to stretch out into something larger, which you may or, you know, you, you might like it, but... Um, I don't like it. Kathy doesn't like, uh, like that effect. Um, but it doesn't take much of an area of one color to kind of be... It becomes sort of a fo the focal point of the painting and maybe takes away from the effects you're trying to accomplish, so... Another area I don't think I like that much is... I'm not sure, too sure about this black corner. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that at the moment. I'm over here. Uh, I think the black corner will go off, but... I don't know if it'll go off that far, but maybe. You can leave it. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, as long as it's not in the middle. No, it's not in the okay. middle. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so now she's finished her swiping, and as you 
can see she swiped over pretty much the whole area of pretty much the canvas pretty much and brought up tons of different colored cells so that's what she was trying to accomplish there i guess she isn't done i thought it was but i saw <laughs> that and i'm thinking okay. uh that's not going to look right to me right I can just see some places that I don't like, so I just have to add a little dabble, do ya? And then we go on from there. Okay, I think I got it now. All right, so here we go. So you're gonna do some wrecking with a, now that's a more of a, like a popsicle stick, right? Right. That's a different type, see? Mm -hmm. Although um, these, this wrecking makes some really nice different compositions through the paint, um, you've got to be careful too not to overdo it with the wrecking because sometimes if you do it too much, it... It takes away from your composition, yeah. I think. Now, yeah. you might like it, and I, there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, it's, it's your... It's your creation. Right. So, well, in, in my opinion, I don't want the wrecking part of it to overtake. It will be the focus of the painting. Correct. I want it to be sort of a complement to the painting. Okay, so we're ready to spin here now. We are ready to spin. Cool. Should I do it the opposite way first? No, no, I don't, whatever way you want to do it. Okay, we, well, I'm right handed, so you know. <laughs> and that's about the speed we feel is the best to do what it's supposed to do. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, there cool. A nice stretching there, a little bigger stretch or a wreck. Oh, cool. And it, uh, you see how it stretches everything out, the cells and the wrecking that Kathy did get stretched Okay, I'm just going to go one okay. more time, a little bit, not much. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. All right, baby. We did it. Yeah, another beauty, Cody. Oh man, do I love this. I'm loving this. We'll take a nice slow tour around it. Oh, these cells and the lacing and the colors are just absolutely stunning. I'm in love with this. Of course, I said yeah. that about everyone. <laughs> well, but it, I, it, it I turned just, out wonderfully. I, I don't just, like it from that angle, though, but uh, that's good. That's good. Wow. I like it from yes. that angle. Your this angle. Is, right. Yeah. Very nice. There are certain ways that Phil and I like the paintings to, to look. Um, you might want to hang them a different way. It, it doesn't matter. Um, we have some hanging in our house that are cockeyed, and every time somebody comes over, they want to straighten it. We don't want it straightened. We want it cockeyed. So, I mean, you can actually hang this like this if you want. Sure. On As the a diagonal, you can hang right. it on the diagonal. I mean, you can do it however however you want. I, I, mean, do, I know we, uh, the last couple that you sold, I, I always put the back on for the people before we uh, mail it out. And I didn't really know where to put the hanging part on because you could hang it actually two or three different ways depending on you know your personal preference so i i just got eeny meeny miny mo and put the uh the hanger on there and 
and the, the people can change that if they like. Exactly. But, I love this. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Share it. Um, like I said, my Etsy shop is open. It's Kathleen Limited, one word. This will go into my Etsy shop. As soon as it's dry, it has the varnish on it. It'll be up for grabs. Um, so please go there and shop. If you see something that you like, let me know. And um, if you see a video with a piece that you like and it's not in my Etsy shop, Etsy, <laughs> Etsy shop, please... Um, email me and Phil can look it up and we'll put it in the shop if you're interested in it. Or just email me and I'll give you a price. So until the next time, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. I hope everybody is having fun doing this technique. I hope it doesn't bring you a lot of trouble doing it. Um, if they have questions, they can uh, yeah, email you or just contact comment, you. Yeah. Comment or private message me. And I'll, I'll help you. Um, it's fun. And I hope everybody enjoys this. Um, if Phil can do this, anybody can do this. I can't really do it. but uh, Yeah, you did a pretty nice one, though. Okay. You did. For your first time, that was nice. So I can't say it wasn't because, you know, <laughs> I live with you. So, okay, everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. If you did go anywhere for Memorial Day, please be careful. And I will see you soon. Bye.